Hello, Independence Academy. I'm your host, Lou Hudson, and this is your other host, Aaron Anderson. Today is April 15th, 2019, National Laundry Day. That's a thing now? Yes, it is. The mm -hmm. present day. Well, we will have an interview with Mr. Hall today. Now, students, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Teachers, please take this time for a dress code check. Check for school shirts, shirts back then, and school appropriate hoodies and shoes. It's time for that amazing interview with the one and only Mr. Hall. Good morning, Patriots. I'm here with Mr. Hall. How's your day going? Pretty good. So, what what would you do with a million dollars? Ooh, a million dollars. Hmm. Definitely, I would. Um, Take some time to think about it. I'll do a lot of investing. Um, do, give some to charity. Um, pay off my mortgage, um, and really and take some nice vacations. Okay. What is your favorite food? Favorite food? I'd say a, a nice sirloin steak. What was your least favorite subject? My least favorite subject? Hmm. Probably science. What's your favorite? My favorite subject, of course, is write, reading and writing. I have to say that, hands, hands down. So, what is your favorite animal? Favorite animal? Hmm, I love all kinds of animals, but I would have to say it's probably by the bald eagle. Get it? Um, but that's, the bald eagle does represent our nation's freedom, so... There we go. What does respect mean to you? What does respect mean? Respect mean. Hmm. That's a very good word. And we use it across the, the school, in our classrooms, and at, in our community, at home. And respect is um, a word that, in my opinion, it means that we treat each other to the utmost um, We're, we're, we're treating each other, um, yes, where we're giving each other the best um, to ourselves and we, we're respectful and we're um, treating each other the right way, like we're supposed to be. Okay, I got one last question for you. What is your favorite movie? My favorite movie? Wow. Hmm. I would probably say... Hmm, The Lion King, and they're having a remake of it coming out, and I cannot wait for it to come out. Okay, well, thank you for your time, Mr. Hall. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys coming in this morning, and you guys have a wonderful day. Me too. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Hall, for your time. Last week's riddle was, what seven-letter word? is spelled the same way backwards and forwards. And the answer was race car. Congratulations to Faith Lamb, the NJHS inductee who keeps asking him questions. Report to Mr. Brinker's room for your custom day nut pass. And now for this week's room. Which side of the cat has the most fur? Please turn your answers in to room 413. Today lunch is chicken tenders with potato wedges and your choice of milk. And now for today's inspirational quote of the day.
That was super inspirational. Now for the spaciest joke you've ever heard. What do you call a tick on the moon? A lunatic. Okay. Holy cow! That was galactic! Now we want to wish good luck to all the basketball teams in your games this week. Thank you, Thank you for watching The Morning Show. Have a great week. One small step for man. Roger, zero G, and I feel fine. Good morning, students. My name is Steel. I got something to say, but I'd rather say it this way. It's Black Month, and we need your donations so pets can have a safe one kitchen. So in the month of April, if you are able to help make a pet life saving safe, to make a donation for the pets in a situation, in their desperation. So look at this list. Yes, you get a sin. So please don't resist. A broken hearted animal win. Yo, that's right, it's Animal Month, and the press is out! One, two, three, four. Tranquility Base here, the Eagle has landed.